is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there, to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. September 13th, kicking into fall. you got to love it. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. And every kiss and every touch, you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 126, Nasdaq's down 65, S&P's off 8.5, gold contract up 230, trading 17.94 an ounce. We got silver down 16 cents, $23.74 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 81 cents, $70.00. 53 cents a barrel notes and bonds. The 10 year up five ticks, 133.10. The 30 year up 16 at 163.07. And King Dollar. King Dollar up 99 ticks, trade 92.681. Euro 118. Yen 110. British pound 138 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we rolled on Friday, folks. You rolled downtown. You had volume on the move. You're following through out here today. The SPY is at 444.89. And anything inside 447, which we're in, sets up the next leg down, which would be approximately 437. And right now, and 437, by the way, folks, is only the high of the... It, it just got into a lower range. It's not in the lower range yet. My take is the SPY is going to go down on, on this get-go right now to 430, 421, actually. Uh, so we'll see how it handles 437 first. But that's how it's set up. The day that you want to keep your eye on is on the 19th of July. That's where my take is that we're going to get down into. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. And you saw the NDX. The NDX, okay, they sold this thing off so fast this morning they couldn't see straight. And you're going to get an expansion of volume. So you get the NDX right now we're down a buck sixty. Uh, Friday we did uh, 40 million shares. You're already at 39.5 million right now. We'll end up doing 50 million. That is saying that the NDX, is gonna, well, the, the Qs are going to run down to 368 right now. You're at 374. Now the the benchmark, the day that I'm talking about on the 17th, is 352. So I suspect we're going to get down into that level. And guess what? I mean, the bottom line, it doesn't have to stop at that level. What you have there is that that is a high volume low that I do expect that we're going to get tested. High volume lows, once you turn, folks, okay, they love to go after them. It's like a magnet. And in this particular case, we've been at highs, dramatically lighter volume, all of the above. We do have triple witching coming in this week, which is going to have high volatility. Great trading. That's the real bottom line. You want to, you could, you, it's, it's going to be fabulous trading because you more than likely it's going to be a two-way market going down into this lower level. Gold. Gold contract out here. Finally, well, the equities are getting a lot more bid than the gold contract. The gold contract rejected 1784 out here today. Uh, you are up, you're at 1794, which is no big deal. But guess what? It's a big deal inside the, the equity market because the equity market, we're just ready to jump over a freaking cliff. Um, you know, the GDX, now the GDX is up 75 cents. This didn't get into its lows. That was kind of showing 
how strong some of the gold equities are. The GDX has volume at the price point of 33.52. I suspect we're going to get there. It looks to me like the GDX actually wants to go up to the 35.83. That being said, there's plenty of equities. In fact, if we go to the XAU and the HUI, that they looked about as bad as you can get. <laughs> I mean, uh, they, they were set up. If we didn't catch a bid out here today, it's like, okay, man, you can see the bottom of this consolidation that we really started going all the way back. We hit a high of 2020, August 2020. You come down like the XAU, that low of the bottom of the consolidation was 128, while the XAU made it to 124 and then rejected it. We made it uh, last week to 129. Today we did 128. So we needed this coming out of there um, in a monster way. Notes and bonds still want higher price. Pretty amazing, too, when you take a, take a look at uh, notes and bonds, man. I mean, the, the bottom line is that the bids just get, continue to come in inside the note and bond market. What we do have worldwide is that these rates are still really high. That's the real bottom line. Our rates in the U.S. And uh, the bottom line is that there's plenty of cash around the world looking for a place to park. And what you actually have here is that this is no, not so much as a, a trade that you and I do every day. What this is, folks, is balance sheets just basically getting as close as they can to a delta neutral, meaning that big insurance companies have a liability on one side. What they're trying to do is get the asset on the other side to match the liability. And one of the easiest ways to do that, there's no two ways about it, is to turn around, get in the bond market, Either get a 10, 20 year bond, 16 year bond. The, the bottom, so what happens in the bond market is this, okay? We got twos, fives, tens, 20s, 30s, okay? Um, that being said, let's say that you had, uh, you, we were an insurance company, we had a match out that, oh man, okay, hold it. We think that we're gonna have to pay off so much in 17 years. Well, that's where like a TLT comes in. We could go into that bond market and find, okay, I want 20 year plus, no, 20 or minus bonds. That expire in let's, 17 years. We get 17 years. Guess what? We buy those babies. You just keep them in there. That takes care of the other side of the balance sheet. And I suspect that's exactly what we have happening in the world. Because what we still have is that we have still high, much higher rates than everyone else in the world. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, uh, looking at this market, we have, uh, let's see, Apple is uh, Apple's up 42 cents. They're going to do the dog and pony show tomorrow. Apple's, uh, Apple wants lower price. What you have with Apple out here, Apple came down off its high with volume on Friday. Uh, bottom line is you get a sideways move. This will probably mess around here for a couple days. Um, they're, they're, very, they're very good at PR, uh, you know, bottom line, pushing, pushing, pushing. Uh, that being said, you know, my take is that Apple's going to lower price. Uh, NVIDIA, NVDA, this is down five bucks. Not that it's a big deal, it's not. Uh, but as I said many times, the, the chips can take you higher and the chips can take you lower. And we have with NVIDIA is that it couldn't hold higher price today at 229, you're trading 220. This thing, um, strong as a bull, but the bottom line is that guess what? Even bulls can basically get uh, pushed around a little and that's what's going on right now. Stay right there folks, come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 192. We get the NASDAQ down 38. S&P's the flat. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show every trading day right here, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter, The Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content. You just hit Mastering Probability. You're going to hit that subscribe button. You can get Master Probability for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. You can get it for one year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? Great newsletter. Great time to do it. We get volatility in spades, man. You want trades? You want volatility? We have it all. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, you know, the other thing we've got is great sports in Tampa. I, I was know. Just, uh, you know, off to a great start uh, uh, last Thursday. Yep. Uh, and uh, and then you got the Rays. I think they are still eight, nine, ten games out in front of the Red Sox, I, I think, out there as it, we come into the it, end it, of the it's season. It's amazing, man. I mean, you know, for <laughs> folks down here, this is this is sports town anyway. But now we're winning everything. So it's really wild, man. I mean, yeah. it, it really is. <laughs> You know, it's when you go be. to when you go to Publix and you go on shopping, I mean, depending what day it is, right? You should see these people, Steve. They're all decked out. I mean, in everything now. Everything. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's 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 the that's the beauty of it. So, what are we uh, gonna wear, man? We we, we need something <laughs> to wear for the market. <laughs> we do. <laughs> well, well, you know what's interesting? Uh, I was listening to to your show. Um, you know, uh, both your market update as well as just part of the show. And and one of the things that you were chatting about were the uh, interest rates. Yes. And and the negative interest rates, I think during the market update, you started listing Switzerland and, right. you know, just a bunch of EU uh, out there. And I don't know what the total value is of uh, negative interest rate debt denominated in U.S. Um, US uh, currency. Right now, the, I think the, it's like four trillion or something. Some really? outrageous amount. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So first, it's just kind of hard to wrap your head around the negative interest rate. Thing. Right. But but even if you do wrap it around, can you imagine, as you were pointing out, our interest rates are higher and our interest rates rise. Just the pressure that puts on that four trillion or whatever that amount is that is over there, let alone we got the U.S. dollar index, you know, kind of moving higher versus lower. 
generally speaking at this stage. So, yes, we absolutely have interesting markets out here. And, you know, and we're in that uh, cycle, as we've talked about, we're in that unfavorable seasonal cycle, which typically lasts from July through October. So the sell off that we saw last week that, uh, you know, seems to be uh, having some steam, we may, in fact, uh, see the markets move lower into October. Now, from a, a monthly perspective, September as itself, as it stands on its own, has the lowest odds of closing above the prior month's higher August high out here. So it's the lowest, uh, the, the, it's the only uh, over the last, uh, since 1970, it's been a 37% chance of the uh, Dow in September finishing closer than August. So we're, we're certainly in this uh, in this uh, rocky period of time. Now, the Dow itself generated uh, several different A to B equals CD patterns. The most recent one was on August 17th when it generated a sell the D point. So we certainly have topping signals out here and that would suggest perhaps moving lower into October. Now, a move lower in the Dow is also supported by taking a look at the Dow Equity Future contract. And that's what we have up on our screen right now. Okay. And the blue lines represent the TAS market profiles. And so on Thursday last week, price closed below the bottom. That's a signal of a potential change in trend. Then on Friday, it was a big close below that. And today we've had some additional follow through. So this chart here from a daily perspective says that price should continue to move lower. Now, from a market profile standpoint, Tom, what I like to do is if on a daily time frame, I've got a break of support or resistance to figure out from a profile perspective, where is the next target? I go to that next upper time frame. So if I'm on a 60 minute, I might go to 120. On a daily, I would go to a weekly. Well, this is actually the daily time frame chart. If we now go to the weekly chart and take a look at its profile levels, here what this shows us is that 34,392 is going to be the key level. As you had mentioned during your show, the Dow has been the weakest out here. And the Dow is one that is closest to the bottom of its weekly profile. So the level for folks to be watching is 34,392. If price closes below that, that's a real good indication to us, Tom, that the market should move lower into that October time period right and whether and I don't want to try to pick out a date just simply that prices should continue to move lower into their normal seasonal cycle low that typically takes place in about the middle of October now a close below both a daily and a weekly profile is going to give us that change in trend signal and what I do is I take people back to the left hand side of this chart and the red arrow. Now, this takes us back into the March or February 2020 time frame, and we can see first price close below. Again, this is a daily chart that we're looking at, but it has both daily and weekly profile levels. Each of these profile levels, folks, the blue line is the daily, the green lines are the uh, weekly, and I'm just looking at support because we've got a market that's moving lower. We want to try to understand, is there a change in trend signal? So here we can see just the importance of that 34,392, because if that gives way, price should move to lower price. Net lower prices, it's around the 33,000 area. I don't have that off the top of my head. I'm just kind of ballparking it based upon this chart here, but which would be a prior uh, weekly horizontal trade, uh, a weekly uh, profile level. So very similar, and we know what to watch for. 34, uh, 392 is the uh, is the number out there. Now, if the YM's monthly chart, so the YM's monthly chart, so I can go from daily, which we've done, daily profiles, to then weekly profiles, and now we're on the chart that shows our monthly time frame. And it just so turns out that in the month of September, we have a brand new, and it's a bearish structured monthly profile. So if price closes below the level we looked at on a weekly basis, and then it can close below 34,305, that's the center of this bearish structured monthly profile, then that's going to suggest move back into the 32,443 area. Area. So we can take daily profiles, which we know prices are below in the Dow, then go to our weekly. So we know where price could find support uh, or should find support. And if that level fails, we can then come over to the monthly chart and take a look at where price would head to. And that would be the 32,443. So that's the bearish side of the uh, trade. Sacrilegious. Always, Sacrilegious, there's always, man. <laughs> there's always two sides to a trade. And this is the interesting part of it. This is the Dow. Now, I've got the continuous contract. Doesn't matter because here what I'm just looking for are what I refer to as knee-jerk lows. And if we can take okay. a look at coming off the March, this weekly chart now, coming off the March bottom, we can see. Now, this just shows the numbers out here, the ones, the twos, the threes. This is showing consecutive closes below a prior uh, period or a, a prior week. I'm yes. sorry, so we're looking at a weekly chart out here. You can see that most of the retracements or moves lower 
completed with two bars. Okay. Last week, yeah. Friday was bar number two. We've had one instance, which was bar number three. This takes us back into the November time frame. So we have both the bearish side and the bullish side. If we start getting to four weeks in a row, consecutive lower closes out here, that's going to signal that we've got this change in trend that takes us into October as well. So there's always two sides to a trade, folks. Uh, I'm not trying to make anything up or anything, but just take a look at this chart here. And there's the possibility that, in fact, Friday was the yellow out there. So uh, we got both sides of the trade. And uh, as you said, volatility is continuing to increase. So there's going to be trades on both sides of the uh, both sides of the aisle. Great update, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it, it is amazing. This market has been something else, man. And it is no yeah. doubt. I mean, and as you said, you know, when we've had a correction, it's been what, a three day correction. So we'll see where this shakes out, man. Yeah, 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 exactly. Wow. Hey, Tom, always good to talk to you. Have a great day. You have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow, Steve. Thanks, Tom. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 195, NASDAQ is down 31, SPs are flat. We'll come on right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 220. You got the NASDAQ uh, down 19. S&Ps are up 5. Let's go to our man, John in Philly. What's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. Uh, it's good to, uh, good to talk to you. I have to tell you, it always boggles my mind that it has been, it's been 16 years since I first discovered you on streaming, streaming radio out of Boston. It, uh, I can't believe it's been that long. I can't either, man. That's crazy, Z. That's insane. 
16 years. <laughs> and and uh, oh. what I, uh, I'm calling about dates back to things I learned from you from that point in time. And up until that point in time, Tom, I was missing... Uh, a certain something in market analysis and the feel of the market that you uh, you brought illumination to me, uh, and it was the action of what you've always called the operators. And uh, I remember going back 16 years, you telling stories of your history uh, in trading rooms before you started TFNN with the SOAS bandits yeah, and then with the ECN, the electronic, right. um, uh, isn't that crazy about ARCA? Like that, like, that would be the acronym. It, yeah, I know. Let me tell you, you, you know, it's wild folks. So, so pitch this. I'll just tell you this story quick was you were talking about ARCA this morning. So what happened folks, li listen to this. This is a great story for a software writer. The people that actually own the New York stock exchange right now, the guy that, was Arca, his name is Stuart Townsend, was in my office in 1994, and it was one of these deals that you don't know how much you actually know. So I sat with him for a week. He was wanting to know what he should put in the system. And so what the deal was, I got the system for nothing, which was a great deal at that point. But the bottom line, he ended up selling it. He ended, that ended up being the New York Stock Exchange, which is a mind blow. I mean, they sold it for, I don't know, 400 million or something. Uh, but that's, everything was changing then, you know what I mean? The bottom line. You, the way this worked, folks, is that first it was Instanet that you could cut the bid and offers. Then it was Arca, and Arca just had to end up having the best setup. Uh, but it's, a, it's, I watched that guy go from a software writer to a, I don't know if he's a billionaire or a multi-millionaire, but bottom line is pretty cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, that is, that is indeed. Yeah. Well, back to the present, Tom. Um, the stock market rally, <clears throat> frankly, continued and kind of stalled as of the close of business Monday, August 30th, so the Monday right before Labor Day. Yes. And ever since, uh, I've seen it, and you've talked about it on your show, uh, signs of distribution. Uh, more importantly, or more recently, last Thursday, Friday, and this morning, there's been this interesting, interesting phenomenon whereby the futures markets, the futures, the, the E-mini S&Ps or the NASDAQ, yes have been bid up between, say, 2 a.m. and 9, Thursday, Friday, and today. And then, lo and behold, once the cash market opens at 9.30, there's uh, an unleash of aggressive and, at least for a short time, high-volume selling. So I wanted to ask if you can describe uh, the mechanics by which you see the operators, quote-unquote, using the futures market to uh, uh, get a position where you can unload cash equities at better prices come that 930 open, please. I'd love to listen to hear you talk about that. Right, and, and what happens, what, you, what you're seeing there, Z and folks, is this. Is that if you remember, I don't know, it, we haven't had a correction in a long period of time, but whether it was five or six years ago, what happens is that when you do see the futures get bid up overnight with no juice on them, it's... You know, I mean, I love waking up and having them bid up. <laughs> That's the bottom line, okay? Because what happens, folks, is that, you you know, everyone, if you're going to sell the market, you want to sell the market at a higher price. Um, you know, we'll see where this whole thing's going to shake out, you know, because this one here has been a, such a long period of time that we haven't got any type of correction whatsoever. Um, but that deal about bidding futures up overnight is very easy to do for the large broker dealers because there's actually a tiger that was working for Goldman at one point that was explaining to us that listen to this, this is crazy this was now I'm going back 2007 because this was he was in he, he came down to Clearwater and he still worked for Goldman but he was telling us what he actually does they kept him in the office him and another trader all night long and all night long their their job their only job so picture they got who knows how many billions and trillions, right, you know, in equity. So their job was to keep the market either flat or crawling up slightly all night long. And then as the, all the traders come in, then bottom line, then yeah, you get a bigger market. My point is, is that overnight, folks, okay, when you're a broker-dealer 
and you have unlimited amounts of money, and they do. I mean, a, a Goldman Sachs has unlimited amounts of money because they just, they just do. They they could they could double, triple up, and it, it, the markets are illiquid. And that's that's just a fact, Jack. Yeah. yeah. That, that and you know, I learned a lot from him. I thought I was hearing things, man. Like, whoa, okay, that there's only two people in that office, but yet the key there was what he said about unlimited amounts of money that they would try to jam it as much as they could every time you know bid 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 and nothing it, it's not like they just wanted to keep the market higher because the bottom line is that they wanted to stay delta neutral that's what they're trying to do so right right you know will it's it's going to be intriguing man i mean to see you know what type of correction we get you know i mean my take is that it's going to the bottom of the consolidation and i hope that's all it is because because that the bottom is consolidation if that's where we're going you know, if you're fully invested, folks, okay, you're going to be totally flipped out. And you shouldn't be because that's not that far. But I, I understand when we haven't had a correction for this amount of time, that's going to feel like a deep correction. You know what I mean? So. Indeed. Tom, yeah. thanks for the conversation. Appreciate okay, it. man. You have a great one and a safe one. And the, uh, yeah, because when we, when we take a look from the highs to the lows, that's not a lot where I'm talking. There's, there's no doubt. But we'll see where this uh, whole baby's going to go. Let's go take a look at a couple of the big dogs out here. If we take a look at Amazon, Amazon right now, she's backing down. Now, if you like Amazon, this is how an equity actually should back down. You know, my, my take is that Amazon actually is going to back down again to 3137. And right now you're at 34. The reason I'm saying that, folks, is that that's a high volume high, high volume low, rather. And now what we're doing though, this is what's really cool. So picture it, you, ha you have the high volume low. That high volume low is 4.6 million shares. We came in close to it with 3.5. So that's telling me, number one, that what you have here is that more than likely it's gonna stick. Now, if we take a look at what happened the last few weeks, well, you went higher and you had some good juice in, in Amazon all the way up to the price point of 34.72. Now you're backing down with light volume. If that continues and then you can get that test and that test is on light volume, that's a beautiful setup. The price will scare you, but it's a great setup when you've already come close to the test at the low, you've got a lot higher and it's shown strength, then you're backing down again and as you're backing down, the contraction is happening again. And as close as you can get to the bottom of that consolidation, uh, bottom line, the more probability is that you will get a rejection of lower price and that, that wants to go higher. I would set that up with the market in general. That's kind of how, you know, you should start at this particular point looking for equities that you wanted to get into that you couldn't get into because they were too high. Dow's up 231, NASDAQ is down 23, S&P's up four. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm Orion. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are up 219. You get the Nasdaq down 30. S&Ps are up three and a half. Uh, our guest today, folks, is Bill Lederer. Bill is the chairman and CEO of iSocrates. Now, check this out. This is pretty cool. Uh, Bill's a former Wall Street uh, head of research and portfolio manager. Uh, and the, when the, in the 1990s, folks, uh, bottom line, uh, Bill started art.com uh, when uh, Jeff Bezos was uh, out there with uh, Amazon. And uh, the bottom line, Getty Images bought it. Uh, Bill's got a new company. It's iSocrates. Bill, welcome to TFNN. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Uh, good. A little bit hot and humid here in uh, in Florida, but we're doing okay. And we're glad you're in St. Pete, man. We're definitely glad you're in St. Pete. So, hey, so tell us exactly what this company is. Yeah, you bet. Happy to do so. So, uh, Isocrates began uh, life a little over six years ago. Uh, we work in the digital media and marketing industry, uh, started out doing some pretty high-end consulting work around uh, strategy and operations, and oh, about 90 minutes into our first major consulting assignment, became pretty clear that companies were having difficulty executing with all these uh, literally thousands of platforms that they have to work with, and it uh, didn't take long for us to figure out, gee, there's an opportunity here. In addition to the consulting, maybe we should be uh, doing hands-on execution letting them outsource uh, to us and where we can run mission critical applications for them in, uh, in media and marketing. Publishers, marketers, agencies, different data and tech companies. Okay. And we do, we're headquartered in St. Pete, but it's a global business today and we've got clients around the world. Uh, we've taken those services that we've been providing and uh, learned where the gaps are in the technology. And so like many companies, we are evolving a SaaS solution to go with our services. So like if, some, if a large company wants to advertise, would they, would they basically hire in you so that you could figure out what these different platforms are doing and, and just what type of, type of return on investment they could get? Is that what we're talking? Yeah, and we're hands-on keyboard actually planning and buying, or in the case of media companies, selling, doing the the uh, monetization for them. Okay. Reporting and analytics, uh, data science, all, all that runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week in our operations. Yeah, it. You know, this business has come so far; it's really intriguing. And uh, large companies, you'd be really surprised, folks. Large companies spending a huge amount of money that they really don't understand. Uh, <laughs> it kind of how this works and. The advertising companies have everything to gain and zero to lose uh, by just saying, okay, you got this many hits. I mean, years ago, Bill, I used to own radio stations and Arbitron used to drive me crazy because I'd be saying to myself, this is amazing that a large company would just buy this buy based on, you know, a certain amount. But I, I've seen it in where we are right now. I, I, still see, I still see it. I actually got a, 
a spreadsheet because we do a lot with a, a couple big advertising firms. And they sent me a spreadsheet one day that they never should have sent me. And it was like, I thought I was seeing things, man. I mean, and what it was, it was supposedly the number of hits that these large companies were getting. But if anyone ever drilled down to it, they'd realize that this is not what they need. And more than likely, that's what you're, you're digging into. Yeah. You know? we, I mean, the, the reality is that not only is there a lot of waste in the system, but increasingly, particularly in this economy, it's hard to find the, the staff that's sophisticated, understands, that's affordable uh, and available. And, yes. Uh, we've been able to fill that hole, fortunately. So businesses has been very good and it has allowed us to be able to reinvest in building our own technology. So after having been a professional services company for so long, uh, we we have begun to build MadTech BI, which is our SaaS platform. And very fortunately for us, all of our uh, services clients have taken the platform and now other new clients who've never been services clients are taking it. So we're, we're benefiting from uh, a lot of learning here and um, on our way to building a, a, a nice growth company. It's a great name, man, Mad Tech. <laughs> That's definitely a great name. So uh, what level company-wise, like with gross numbers, would be your client? Is it 5 million, 10 million, 20 million, 1 million? Where, where are we at in that? Typically, when they're on the buy side, it's going to be companies that have over a million dollars a year or over, over $100,000 a month to spend. Yes. On on digital media and marketing. But since you're from the radio business, you might remember Entercom, oh, Entercom yeah. CBS News. They are a long time customer for us. Uh, gosh, probably going on almost five years already. Yeah. Do uh, work for them and a lot of other uh, big businesses that you know. But it, it can be it can be a smaller company. I think the big thing is if you're looking for full transparency, lower costs, um, very significant accountability, we're, we're the right people to go with. If you're looking for uh, a full service agency um, and you really don't want to know more about what's going on, we're probably not the right fit. Right. Where do you feel the most amount of advertising fraud is in the business? <laughs> that's it, a, I know. That's a, I'm not putting you on the spot because I know it's not close to what you do, okay? But it, we both no. know that it's like, oh, my God. It's like it's, sometimes I'm, I'm trying to figure it out myself. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. So first of all, there's fraud in, in uh, many ways. I'm a graduate school professor in this subject matter, and I definitely share this with my students every semester. I love it. This is a definitely a business where caveat emptor. You want to trust, but verify every step along the way throughout the ecosystem because there's plenty of fraud. I think that probably the biggest fraud from a dollar standpoint is going to be in the ad inventory itself. Um, okay. what, what advertisers believe uh, they're they're uh, buying, but actually what is not being delivered. But yes. simply, okay. it can also happen where the publishers are getting shortchanged themselves. Overall, what I would suggest is. I'm not familiar with another commodity industry where there where fraud is a bigger factor. And I'm I'm going to call it flat out. This is a commodity industry. Right. These are commodities that are being bought and sold and increasingly in auction-based uh, transactions just like financial services uh, evolved to uh, basically from May 1st of 1975 with the onset of com of um, negotiated uh, commissions uh, yep. at the New York exchange um, and that was really the beginning of loosening up of the market in the same way electronic real-time auctions have come to advertising inventory um, and and we're seeing the same kinds of challenges but in a very short uh, much more uh, compressed period of time and in that activity with hundreds of billions of dollars being transacted uh, in auctions going forward there's plenty of fraud so this is not a place for the timid, and um, you, you really, it requires constant uh, observation, and um, uh, clients, they, they need to know what's going on. And you they know what's so cool? When clients do know what's going on, folks, okay, it's awesome, because if they're educated, I can tell you from me trying to sell them advertising, it's much easier. When they're not, it's a real problem, man. I mean, because they can say to me, I've got this many, I, you know, and I, what I can't say to them is, hey, man, you better go check it again, because I know you don't have this many, meaning, you know, and, and that conversation is very hard when I'm on the selling end of it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah.
Yeah, I don't think it's it, just so it's what it's worth. I don't think it's just that it's going to be the unification of all those things because there's a lot of platforms involved. This is a complex industry. No, there's no doubt. Well, listen, this has been a pleasure. Appreciate the update. Appreciate the education. I'd love to have you on again, Bill. Great. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Yep. Good day. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Sit down. Dow Industrials right now up at 246. You get the NASDAQ down 21. S&Ps are off 7. If we go over, they're talking about Nike uh, inside the den here. And Nike, folks, going to be a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. It's about a 10.8 to B equals C to D. You're taking out the B point today. The B point is 159.75. Uh, you need 6.5 million shares. We get 6.5 million right now. Uh, that's going to set up a, a run to... 154. 154 is the high of the gap, and we'll see how that baby shakes out. Most times what does happen is that when you have gaps to this large, most times they go to the high of the gap first, you get a bounce, then they go after the gap. And in Nike's case, <laughs> that, that gap is one monster. If we go into the uh, ETF structures, uh, looking at the volume out here today, you get follow through and you get follow through with volume. The SPY right now has uh, done 70 million. You're up 73 cents. Uh, we did uh, 89 million. Uh, you're still inside the range. Anything inside uh, 447, 11 is saying it wants lower price. NDX 100, same type of setup. Inside the three Qs, uh, should be a lot more volume in the Qs. The Qs, yeah, it is already. The Qs have done 45 million. Now, the, vo the volume exploded out of the Qs on Friday. Still pitch this. The Qs made a high of. 
23 million. You came out of that on the right hand side of the horseshoe with 40 million, did 45 today. Uh, bottom line, this is going after 368. You're at 376. Uh, bottom line, uh, you know, these indices in general uh, want lower price. Um, <laughs> we'll see how many more days of follow through we get. I expect we're going to get it. If you go look at the small caps, now this is really cool. That's saying that the oil and gas and metals and materials are going to go higher. That's what you have happening out here today. A rejected lower price. It's up a buck twenty-two right now, and I expect what you're going to see is um, we we'll go to the oil market first. We take a look at oil. What you have with oil out here? Oil is up eighty-five cents. October. Yeah, we're on October oil. Uh, this baby here, yeah, it's peaking its head out. Oil, this, this contract here wants to run up to $74, and it's $70.59. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, habits, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Please come back and visit us tomorrow, folks. Tommy kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Yeah, we'll get him, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most.